Hello fashion sewers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to insert raglan sleeves. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here we have a raglan sleeve and a raglan sleeve forms part of the garment front and back. As you can see here is a sleeve and the sleeve actually comes into the actual garment. I'll just show you under the opposite side what that looks like. See, you've got the garment here and the sleeve forms part of the actual garment. This is a sewing project that I'm working on at the moment. It's actual uh, two-piece raglan sleeve, so therefore it has a overarm seam and an underarm seam. Raglan sleeves can be long or short. Now this is the front and this is the back. The back is slightly longer. So I'm going to match up my sleeve seam. Remember you need to make sure that you match up all your sewing pattern markings and pin into place. Baste if you must. Let's pin it into place. And then I'm going to continue pinning all the way to the hem of the sleeve. Just ignore the pleats that I've got in there. That's just to do with the sewing project that I'm working on. And then I'm going to sew, and then I'm going to pin the actual underarm and then take it to my sewing machine. I'm now going to be sewing the overarm seam. Um, I'm using contrasting thread so that you can see how I'm actually going to be sewing this seam. And also I'm not going to reinforce the beginning of my stitching because I'm going to be pulling this thread, the stitching out. It's a slight curve to a raglan sleeve, but you should be able to manage on your sewing one. going over my pins and then coming to the end of the seam now you'd actually reinforce it there but I'm not going to do that so there you have the seam sewn and then I'm going to press that seam open and then I'm going to do the underarm seam you are now looking at the garment armhole and here we have the back and the front and there is a ease stitch in both the front and also the back which is like a gathering stitch and this will help with the shaping of the sleeve when it's actually inserted. We now have the sleeve and I'm now going to insert it into the actual armhole um, right side to right side so I'm going to line up my seams and pin that into position and then I'm going to pin the sleeve to the front of the armhole, making sure that I ease it into place and match up your sewing pattern markings. Put one just there. And I'll make sure that the actual easing is even as I pin it into place just want to make sure that you get enough distribution of the actual easing along here and just be gentle with it and it will more or less find its place really without you having to do too much of an easing if you do just shuffle it around yeah I'm happy with that and then I'm going to continue doing the same to the back I've now inserted the sleeve and remember that this seam would actually be pressed open and um, how I'm going to sew this I'm going to be working on the inside of the actual seam and sew it into place and I'm going to do the back and then the front I'm sewing on the inside of the actual sleeve and I'm starting from the neck point position and working my way down to the underarm seam pulling my pins out as I go I don't like to sew with my pins And one of the reasons why it's best to sew on the inside of your seam because it will help with it actually sitting in within the actual easing that you've actually put into the actual garment. And now approaching the underarm seams. And 
and what I'd actually recommend also when you come nearer to the underarm seam um, it could be a good um, a good method to actually uh, do smaller stitching as well and then once you get to that seam you'll actually back tack but I'm not going to do that and then you do the same on the right side of the sleeve and you work from the seam up to the neck now the sleeve is inserted as you can see this is the back seam and the front seam and the overarm seam now they would all be pressed open do remember that okay they need to be pressed remember you need to press as you sew and let me just show you what it looks like on the front and there we have it a beautifully shaped raglan sleeve and here we have the raglan sleeve now remember a raglan sleeve forms part of the actual garment the front and also the back it's a beautiful sleeve and it's a sleeve that you see mostly in jackets and coats and even sportswear so if you have any questions whatsoever please put them in the comments box below and i'll see you next time